Hey, Jimmy Rose here again from JimmyRose.me and this is part two in a little series about creating a weekly curated newsletter uh, to stay top of mind for your prospects and even your current clients. Uh, this is something I'm uh, pretty big on, something I spend a lot of time, not a lot of time, a bit of time each week doing and, uh, and that's what this is about is showing you how you can do it with a little bit of time as well. Uh, the point being, uh, I try to leverage my time as much as possible and my 45 minutes or so I spend building a newsletter each week ends up getting turned into a blog post and keeping our social media feeds uh, full of stuff for the week as well. Um, but this video is pretty much just going to be about the tools that I use to do it, uh, just the tech side really. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So the first tool I use is Feedly. Now this is basically just an RSS reader and by that I mean a place where you can add blogs that you want to source content from. So this is going to be completely dependent on what industry you're in and it's going to take time to find uh, good articles or good, uh, sorry, good blogs that you actually want to follow. So a good place to start for this actually is just ask your existing audience what blogs they follow and see, have a look through their previous content and see if it's the kind of thing you want to share. Because as we covered in video one, you only want to, uh, share things that are legitimately really useful for your audience. Um, cause that's how you actually have a good newsletter that people read and stay subscribed to. Uh, so yeah, it's going to take a while. I mean, my list here is built up over a long time. I'm in the middle of going through uh, this week's newsletter now. So, um, you know, there's the unread counts on the ones that I haven't done yet. So it's not something that happens immediately, but you will be able to get a pretty good start just by doing some research and asking people. So, um, you know, and you might even find over time you start removing things. Like if you have a blog that you added and they start just producing a lot of just rubbish content, then you find yourself never sharing it anymore, you might remove them. So I delete sources from here all the time, find other ones that I add in. And I've got categories, you know, so um, influencers and marketing, podcasts, web design, web design business, WordPress tech, you know, so you can have whatever you want. Uh, to create, to add a blog, you just go to add content down here and you can search for whatever. So maybe uh, agency trailblazer, I think it might be already there. So I don't know if it's going to show up for me. This is uh, Lee's website, Lee Jackson's website. Yeah. So, oh no, I've got to go to websites. My bad. Anyway, it's pretty simple. You find, you find a site that you want to follow. Uh, and then you just click follow and choose the category that you want to put it in and it'll show up down here. So yeah, all I'm really going to do here is go through and find a uh, post that I think should go in. For example, uh, I'm going to go to one that I've already read. So if we look at Kim Doyle's feed, uh, it's showing up that I have read everything here, uh, because I've already marked it all as read. So if I go see all articles, um, Oh, there's, it's, it's ordered by most popular, but the time one is down here. So the way I do it is I open it, uh, give it a quick skim read here. Some sites won't actually give you that much information. They truncate the RSS feed. So I always pretty much just go straight to the title and click it, which opens it in a new tab. Uh, and then let's say I decide this is a great post to go in. I need to store this link somewhere. So you can copy this directly into a review, the newsletter tool, which I'll show you soon. Uh, I, or you could put it in a spreadsheet, which you can copy in later. I actually use push by Zapier and I'm going to need to do another video on this. Uh, so check back in on that soon, or I'll uh, have a look below if it's already done, there'll be a link. Uh, but this is a cool little tool that pushes information to Zapier, uh, that um, I can then pull into an RSS feed. And the reason I do that is because, uh, review the newsletter tool has a facility where I can pull items directly out of an RSS feed to use in the newsletter. Uh, like I said, I'll do another video on that cause it's its own topic. Um, but so for now, what I'm basically going to do is go, Hey, check out this awesome podcast. Uh, I like to put a, my own personal touch on every single link that goes in. Uh, so I might describe why someone is interested in this. Um, this is just an example. So I'm going to do that because uh, I've got this push links to weekly, which is a zap that I've got set up. But like I said, all you need is that link. You can put it in a spreadsheet or you can paste it directly into review, which I'll show you soon. 
Um, yeah, so then I'm basically just gonna go through all of these feeds uh, that I've previously created and find things that I think are helpful, right? So uh, I've actually just signed up to this one, which is why there's so many unread posts. Uh, but let's say I didn't find anything that's that I wanna share. I just go click and mark all as read. Same thing, so like let's say I wanted to share this one, I'll click, I'll click. I'll do the push, close the tab, come back here, close that, mark all as read. And that's, that's as simple as the process is. You just do that for every single blog. So I'm gonna pause the video and uh, come back when I'm done. Alrighty, so um, yeah, when you're done, uh, it'll basically say you're all caught up. This is the screen you see at the end. Um, one quick thing I wanted to show you too is um, if you can find other blogs that do roundups of good news for your industry, for example, this one, there's a weekly news for designers on Specky Boy. Uh, these can be an, a gold mine of good content too, especially if you see the same kind of thing getting shared across different newsletters, it might mean it's uh, popular. So, and you could also use Buzzsumo or other tools like that to find out what uh, content is going crazy at the moment. Another tool I like is uh, SparkToro Trending. So I usually check this. And so this is very specific though, right? This is web marketing stuff. So if you can find this kind of tool in your space, it's pretty cool. Um, so I might come down and go top 200 stories by January, 2019. And then, so this is basically what stuff's getting shared the most on Twitter. Um, so again, you can use something like Buzzsumo to do something similar for certain keywords. But yeah, so whatever you, whatever way you have to find that good content, doesn't matter as long as you're finding the good content and uh, recording those links. So now I'm gonna jump over to review, which is a my newsletter tool. Um, now, one recommendation I would uh, have is to create a template issue. So um, I'm not going to show you how to set up review from scratch in this video. That'll be probably in my mini course for sending weekly newsletters, uh, which will be linked below. But uh, yeah, the point of having a template issue is so you don't have to type the same stuff in every week. So if, if I go and create a blank newsletter, it'll only have the header and the footer and that's it, everything else I have to create. So I'm going to show you what happens here if I go duplicate issue. Obviously that's now a long way down on my list and it's gonna keep getting longer and further away in my list, but um, I haven't really had to deal with that yet. <laughs> um, so create the copy, I'm just gonna give it a title. Um, I used to do creative names, but I can't be bothered anymore. So I just go, go like that, exactly what it is. Same format every week. Now review by default, will have this header area. Um, you can customize this, but it's um, fixed for each newsletter, right? So, um, you know, this is in the account settings. This isn't per newsletter. And then it does, there's like a footer that goes out in the email that says, did you enjoy this or whatever? Um, but yeah, everything else from here through to here would actually be blank. And that's why I use a template that I duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Uh, so I've got my headings here, my, the same headings I use every week for categories, right? So. You know, you could create a new one by going here uh, and typing in. Um, but I use the same ones every week. So I've got business and marketing, design inspiration. Sometimes these change. It just means I change the uh, template issue and, uh, and save it there. Um, and then I've got a little section at the bottom that's got some affiliate links and tools I recommend. And that just goes out in every, uh, every newsletter. Right, so once I'm ready to go, um, you can basically just put your links in. So let's say you had, you were just copying and pasting your links in. You just go plus link and add. And review is smart enough to go and get the actual title tag, pull out the featured image, um, and then you can write your own description. So uh, what I actually do is this uh, Zapier RSS feed. I just renew that. And these are the things I have shared. So, um, these all haven't all come from Feedly through the week as well. I've been, if there's something I wanted to share, like this WP Elevation event, um, I did the same thing and put that using that push by Zapier. I added this earlier in the week because I knew I'd want to share it when it came time uh, for the newsletter. And I actually use this uh, as a way to promote some of my friends' content, uh, partners and, and whatever like relationships that I'm building. 
um, I use, I often throw in the newsletter. And since this one is um, an event, I normally throw that like promotional stuff uh, might go up the top outside of all the categories. Uh, you can see that I've written my little description there uh, and I might just clean up that title. So then I'm just gonna go through and, and drop things in. So this is my own video, part one of this series, uh, which I added previously. Um, yeah, so I might just delete that. Um, here you'll see there's no featured image. Sometimes review does that, but then when you actually send it, it puts it in. So I don't really know. I don't really care to be honest if with or without the featured image is fine to me. Uh, and you can actually, uh, change the way this gets uh, displayed too. Like if there is a featured image, you can use these settings to make it like a giant uh, full banner type thing, left, right, no image, for example. Um, that's way too much text. So I am gonna delete that uh, because that came from a different feed. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to go through and drop in each thing where I think it should go. So, um, you know, this one, I think I saw one somewhere on design, right? So that's going to go into that section. All right, um, let's, I'm just going to pause again and build out this newsletter. Alrighty, so I've gone and added about nine to 10 things is usually my limit for this because otherwise people aren't going to click on click on that many things, right? I, I like it to make it so they can scan through, look at the headings, read some of the, uh, some of the titles and decide if they're going to click through or not. So yeah, um, the only other thing left at this point is uh, the blurb. And I, you know, sometimes it might just be one or two sentences. Uh, this week I wanted to write a little bit about a book I read, uh, Bad Blood, which I really enjoyed. Um, I wrote this earlier, so I'm just going to paste that in, uh, clean it up, and that newsletter is ready to send. So um, at this point, wait for it to save, hit schedule, uh, and I always send it at the same time every week, which happens to be, man, I don't know what's going on with the internet here today, but um, yeah, I just schedule it for the same time each week. And you can also uh, send a preview if you want to see what it looks like or see an online preview, which is uh, I showed you in the last video, but it also adds this like subscribe thing around it and it's default footer there, uh, like with unsubscribe and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't really use this. I just send it out by email and I have my own landing page. So yeah, um, that's it for now. That's it for this video. If you would like to learn about automating your business and marketing in various ways, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video.